guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about my breast reduction surgery so i decided to do this video because when i was in the process of deciding whether i wanted to get it done when i knew i was getting it done i would have liked to have seen videos like this to kind of explain everything about it because when i got it done a few years ago there wasn't really a lot about it not really many people had had it and if they had then it wasn't on the internet so i just wanted to do this in case any of you guys are thinking about getting it done so i have a few notes on my phone to kind of like guide me if you guys have any questions just comment them down below and i'll answer you and yeah Okay, so let's start off with my original size. I was a 32 double G, either a double G or a triple G, I can't remember, it was one of the two. But basically my boobs were massive for my frame. I am five foot three, five, five foot three, five foot four, about that height. I've always been on the slimmer side, so my boobs were massively out of proportion for my body because I was so short and my back size was only at 32. It just, it wasn't good for my back. I was going to physio for my back because it was so bad. Yeah, obviously that didn't help because I had massive bags on my chest weighing me down. So breast reduction was kind of the only option that I had. I was in bad pain with my back and I didn't want that. Not just that, but also my confidence was really low on not being able to wear pretty things that my friends could wear, like bralettes and like bikinis and like cute summer dresses. My fashion style just wouldn't work with my boobs my boobs were spilling out everywhere and i couldn't help it so wherever i went people thought i either had a boob job which i didn't or they thought that i loved it and i wanted the attention from guys blah 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 which i didn't i was so insecure about my boobs it was a joke I used to walk around like hunched, I used to be on holiday and I would wear full swimming costumes, like um, swimming costumes that you would wear to school, not nice ones, like the plain black ones that f just didn't give you any shape, weren't nice, nothing. If I was laying there on a sunbed, I wouldn't be sunbathing, I'd have my towel around me, I just didn't feel confident at all and for a teenager that is horrible because you see all of your friends wearing all these lovely things being able to go into victoria's secret and underwear shops and pick out whatever they want whereas i couldn't do that i didn't fit into any of the victoria's secret bras i had to get all my bras from like either like john lewis i mean maybe i'd get a boo avenue bra but it had to be so structured because i had such big boobs i had to wear underwired bras all the time I could never go braless. I couldn't wear a bralette. It was weighing me down. So yeah, all of these come into it for the decision I made to get a breast reduction. I did get it on the NHS and I knew I wanted a breast reduction from a pretty young age. I'd say about 15, 14, I'd say about that age, and I know you're still going through puberty at that time. At this point, my boobs were huge. My boobs were probably already at a double D, triple D at 14, and they weren't stopping. So I knew as soon as I was old enough, I wanted to get it done. So we went to the doctors when I was 16, and that's when the process started it was such a long process because i managed to get it on the nhs so there was loads of things that they had to look into and um make sure that i was comfortable with such as like my bmi i my weight had to match my height which it did so i was put forward normally they would suggest trying to lose weight 
but because I was already matched my BMI, I wasn't overweight, so they kind of knew that it wasn't going, whether I lost weight or not. The process took about, I'd say, two to three years. They referred me to physio. I had physio, and that didn't work. So the physio said to my doctor, like, it's not working. Basically, I got told when I was 18 that I was eligible for the surgery. So this was great, but obviously two years is a very, very long time to be out of the loop with it all. I got my surgery when I was 18 in se September. So I was nearly 19, just a few months away from being 19, but yeah, I was 18. And I got it done in the NHS. I got it done on a Friday and I came out on the Sunday night. So I did spend a couple of nights in hospital, not too many. Just because it's a bigger operation, they like to monitor you. And I had tubes as well, so obviously they had to keep them in for a certain period of time and then remove them and then make sure I was okay once they were removed. So yeah, my surgery was Friday morning. I was the first surgery to go ahead, so I was at like 7 a.m. I And then I came out Sunday evening. The surgery lasted around, they say it should take between, like around six hours. Mine took about eight. I'm not too sure why, but I know that they said they took a lot out. I've got an anchor scar, so they use the anchor method where they go around the nipple, um, remove the nipple, go under, and then go under the nipple, and then under, like, your boob. And it's, like, in the shape of an anchor, that's why it's called an anchor scar. That's how they removed the fat, and then they basically did a lift as well because obviously my boobs were so big it wouldn't be right to put them back where they were so then they did a lift and then put my nipples back on and then they obviously stitched up in an anchor and I had two tubes put in at the side of my boobs and this was to collect I think like like excess blood and like pus and like all this like really gross stuff and I had like bags, two bags attached to the tubes. It took about eight hours. I woke up and I was, I remember waking up, being in the recovery room, but I remember being so out of it because obviously it is an intense surgery. So I was on morphine the whole time I was in hospital. So I got wheeled back to the room and all my family were there waiting for me and I was just out of it. I fell asleep in my pizza, but I did eat, so and I wasn't sick, so that was good. The pain, I don't, I didn't really feel any pain whilst I was in hospital, just because of the medication I was on. It was so strong. I was connected to morphine that was just constantly running through. The one time I remember the pain in hospital was when I had to have my tubes removed, and I'm not going to beat around the bush here. That was. The worst pain I've ever felt in my life. It literally took like 10 seconds each side. So it's like nothing. Basically they cut the stitches where the tubes are. A bit gross. And then they tell you to breathe in. And then they kind of just rip it out. And because the tube's like wrapped up inside. You could. It, it hurts. And because it's so like. Your boobs are so swollen. Yeah it's not fun. So I had that and then I had all my dressings put on and they gave me extra dressings to take home. They gave me medication to take home with me, like morphine and that. That was my hospital experience. It really wasn't bad. The pain started coming when I got home because I wasn't linked up to an IV for the morphine. I had to physically take the morphine and I'm really funny about taking medication so I tried to, to avoid it as much as possible so that's probably why I was in pain here but yeah it was difficult I was on bed rest for six weeks um so for six weeks I literally I couldn't do anything I had to be babysat like I literally had to lay in bed and I had to like sit up I couldn't lay flat down so yeah things like going to the toilet washing yourself I couldn't do 
I had to have someone help me because I couldn't raise my arms or anything like that. I couldn't bend down. You basically have to build, rebuild all of your chest muscles and your body just has to get used to it basically. I tried going back to work after six weeks but it was way too quick. Yeah. I think everyone's time is different and it depends on what job. If you're just at an office job like sitting down, it's not so bad. But my job was pretty on the go. So they said to me they don't feel comfortable me being there. So I had an extra month off. The swelling is really bad, I'd say. And you won't really know your exact size until a year after surgery. That's when I noticed that all my swelling had gone. They are rock solid when you come out of hospital and for the first like six to eight weeks they are rock solid and you look at them and you think they haven't gone down one bit it hasn't worked blah 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 because that's what i thought but that's just the swelling obviously it went down after a year and yeah the bruising was pretty bad it was black in some areas and when I had to get the dressings changed and like I had to get it cleaned when I had to go back to the hospital every like four weeks I think it was. That was horrible, painful, but not as painful as the removing of the tubes. Yeah, when they were cleaning them and then had to put the new dressings on, that was painful. I was oozing quite a bit as well. Um, I think that's just because your body's trying to heal from such a big operation. Nipple sensation, it's 50-50 whether you will feel your nipples after surgery or be able to breastfeed but I really didn't care at that point but luckily I still have the sensation in my nipples I feel my nipples so that hasn't changed so yeah I do have scars still it's been about it will be four years this year in September and I still have the scars obviously around my nipple down under. I used Biowoggle for a year every single day religiously, which I think really did help because my scars aren't really noticeable. Like you can't really notice them unless I point them out to you. Yeah, I'm just super, super used to them. Um, it really, really doesn't bother me. And yeah, I am now a 32 double D. I am a size eight so if is in proportion with my body i'm like i say five foot three five foot four so it really it fits my body so much better yeah that's really everything that i've got covered on my phone i really it is the best decision i've ever made i don't regret it one bit I can go into any underwear shop now and pick out anything I want. I can go braless if I want, if I have to wear like a dress that doesn't require a bra, I can do that. I can wear bralettes. I literally live in bralettes now. I hardly ever wear underwired bras. It's just a massive confidence boost going on nights out and not having to worry that everyone's just staring at my boobs. And I can go on holiday and be comfortable in a bikini. Um, I've never felt like I can wear a bikini before, so that's really nice. And I sunbathe without putting a towel on me. It really just helps my mental health a lot. And I think if you guys are thinking that you maybe want to get it done, obviously make sure you're certain. Yeah, just talk to your doctor and they'll be able to give you the best advice. But I really wish that I had a video like this when I was younger. Yeah, it was the best decision I ever made. So, uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, please leave them down below and I will answer them. Please give this video a like and subscribe and check out my vlogging channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.